Hi there, I'm Terry, and welcome to Cat Scratch Kitchen. Today we're going to make a copycat A&W Coney sauce for a nice, delicious Coney dog. When my son was growing up, we used to make a special treat of going up to the A&W drive-in and buying bags full of A&W Coney dogs. They were two for a dollar, and we'd get a big bunch of them and just feast out on them. I want to try to relive that memory by making some coney sauce. And so let's get started. We're going to start off in a large stock pot, putting two tablespoons of oil in and heating it up. Just vegetable oil, canola oil. And I have one pound of ground beef. We're going to put that in. We're also going to add one large chopped onion. I'm using red onions. You can use yellow onions if you prefer. And we're just going to stir that together until the beef browns. And then we'll start adding our other ingredients. Beef is broken up well. It's got a light sear on it. Don't have to worry about it being completely done because it's going to be cooking, simmering for a long time. I have two cloves of minced garlic. Let that cook for just about 30 seconds. Now I have two cups of water. Now I didn't have to drain my beef because it's really, really lean, but before this step, if you need to, before you add the garlic, go ahead and drain any excess fat off of your hamburger. I have 12 ounces of tomato paste. I have eight ounces of tomato sauce. For our spices, we have a tablespoon and a half of chili powder, two tablespoons of cumin, and two teaspoons of salt. Stir that through well. Hi, I want to pop in for a second and just give a shout out to my beautiful and talented friend, Sharon McIntosh. She made these fantastic aprons for me that you're gonna see coming up in all of my videos. I have, they're not only beautiful, but they're two-sided. They're reversible, so I ended up with a lot of new aprons. Thanks again to Sharon. Now that it's reached a boiling point, we're gonna turn it down to medium, and we're gonna let it simmer uncovered until it's thick. And that's going to take about an hour and a half to two hours. And when that's done, we'll come back and I'll plate it up and show you how it looks. A few moments later. So it's been two hours and I've gone back and stirred it every about 20 minutes or so. And remember, it looked like soup when we first started. But take a look at it now. Okay, so we've got our hot dog. Let's take some of our coney sauce. And remember, it's not a chili, it's actually a sauce. And now that's, that's the original right there. But we can dress it up with a little bit of shredded cheese, or a lot of shredded cheese, some onions. Actually, however you would like, you could put your regular condiments, mustard, ketchup underneath. You could even go ahead and put something like some jalapenos on top if you want. But there you go. You've got your A&W Coney Dog. So there you go. Our copycat A&W Coney Sauce. I hope you give it a try. Like I said before, it's great on a baked potato, make it on nachos, all kinds of uses for it. It keeps really well in the freezer. You can double up the batch and put some in the freezer for the next time. Makes a quick dinner. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure and go down and subscribe, especially if you wanna see more recipes like this and copycats that we'll have coming up. The recipe is down in the description box, along with a link so that you can print it out. And I'll see you next time. Have fun in the kitchen till then.